Okay, today I wanted to show you how to fix a fan motor if it wasn't turning on. This one actually is turning on. Earlier it was buzzing before it would start. What I'm going to do is unplug it up top here. And just kind of show you, very similar to the condenser fan motor. What I was able to do was push start the motor. It was buzzing, it was just going and it wouldn't start. And I was able to push start the squirrel cage portion of the motor. I can't see a thing. Turn it. But what it's telling me is that our capacitor is starting to get weak. not starting up here. You can hear as I just plugged it in, but it's not starting on its own. That's not good. So what I'm going to do is just kick start it with like my pen. I was able to turn the squirrel cage. Now don't try that at home or at work. But just understand that what that means is that it's time to replace the little capacitor that's on the side right here. See it, so I'll try to open this up so you can see it better. Here, see on the side there, a little five microfarad capacitor. We're going to need to change that one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug right here. We've got our fan turned on on, and then we'll replace that capacitor right there. I usually don't have to slide the whole motor out in order to do this. You can actually just do it right here in place. So you can see it right there. And what I have to do is loosen that first deal with my screwdriver. Now my screwdriver is usually too long to fit in there. So what I do is take all the pieces out of my screwdriver. and then just use the end of my screwdriver here. And before we do that, we want to discharge the capacitor, so I'm going to need to move the, the little cap down on the capacitor right here, and then discharge by bridging the leads with my insulated, holding only the insulated portion of my screwdriver. Let's see if I can remove the front panel here to give us some more light. All right, a little better there. Okay, and the reason we discharge the capacitor by bridging the leads, see here I'm using the non-insulated portion, but I'm holding only the insulated portion of the screwdriver to bridge the leads of the capacitor and that discharges the capacitor because the capacitor holds the charge in the capacitor even after the unit's unplugged. Something you should know. So anyway, bridge the leads like so. Most times I've got my flat screwdriver in here and just bridge the leads like so. Okay, so we're going to bridge the lead. I'm using holding the only the insulated portion of my screwdriver and bri bridging the leads here. And then I'm just going to take my little driver out of the handle in order to remove the clamp for the capacitor right here on the side right here. And then I just take my pliers and turn this out like so. So there's just not enough room. If you have an angled screwdriver, that could help. But anyway. Slip the capacitor out, and now we can change our capacitor here. Down right here, here's our old one, and we just slip the leads off, and there's just one on each side. We don't have to worry too much about our old one. 
gunned it. No big deal. Like a stubborn one here. There we go. Okay. Same with the other side. Just slip both of the leads off there. Okay, so here's our two leads, and it's just one to each side on the new capacitor. Okay, here goes the other side. Sorry for the lack of light, not much light here. But hopefully enough. So then we just slip our black cap. Back over the top here. Slide it down. And now we'll slip it back up. And remount it. Here. Take my handleless screwdriver. And just screw it back in there. Now we've replaced our capacitor. simple there. Remounted our capacitor there, nice and tight. Now I'm going to remount my back on. Okay, so now we can put our service door back on. Okay, and now we can plug it back in, and it should fire right up. And if it didn't, it's time for a new motor. But uh, it should, usually, nine times out of ten, it's just that capacitor that gets the fan motor going. And there we go. Good to go. Replace a little 5 microfarad capacitor. Now when you replace capacitors you always want to equal the same microfarad. So you can see this is a 370 VAC. You probably can't see. This one is a 370 VAC and a 5 it's got the little UF 5, N, 5 microfarad capacitor. So you always need to equal the microfarads for a new capacitor, but as far as the voltage goes, you can go up, you just can't go down. If you're starting at a 370, you can use a 440, but you can't use a, two, a 240, so just so you understand that. Anyway, good to go. Air conditioning working again.